Hey there, curious minds. Today, let's dive into the wild and wonderful world of the singularity and how it projects our universe. Imagine the singularity as a cosmic vinyl record. The grooves on this record are like interference patterns, describing everything in the universe, including us. Just like a vinyl record stores a song, the singularity stores all the information that makes up our universe. When mass falls into a black hole, it gets compressed into this unified state, transforming into pure light. This light interacts with the singularity's intricate interference pattern. And voila! The pattern encodes all the information necessary to project the universe onto a screen. This projection is what we experience as reality, the observable universe. Picture the event horizon of a black hole acting as a holographic screen. The surface where all the information encoded in the singularity is cast. This is the true matrix, a projection made up of quantum zeros and ones. On this screen we perceive everything as separate, but in truth we are all connected through the singularity. When matter is pulled into a black hole, it undergoes an extreme transformation. The mass compresses at the singularity until it converts into light shining on the interference pattern. The singularity is like a holographic plate encoding the universe's wave function. As light interacts with this pattern, it projects the universe onto the holographic screen, our observable universe. It's a 3D reality minus one dimension from the singularity. Um, now let's talk about the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. Think of it as the baby picture of the universe, a snapshot just after the Big Bang. The CMB is the holographic plate that encoded the initial wave function of our universe. But according to the Bekenstein bound, there are countless possible holographic plates, each corresponding to a different universe. Our universe evolved from one specific plate with the CMB defining its starting wave function. From this point, the universe evolves according to the Schrodinger equation of quantum information holography, describing how the wave function evolves over time. Black holes are essential to the structure of the universe. When mass enters a black hole, it's compressed and fused into light. This light encodes information about the black hole and projects a shadow of its interference pattern onto the holographic screen, forming our universe. Here's the kicker. Black holes and fundamental particles are two sides of the same coin. They're both governed by the same entangled singularity, projecting their properties onto the observable universe. In this grand story, we're all still connected in the singularity. We're part of the same informational pattern projected onto the vast surface of our observable universe. Our reality, the stars, planets, and even our own lives are part of this projection. Quantum information holography reveals that the universe isn't a collection of isolated objects, but a projection of information. Like grooves on a vinyl record, the interference patterns in the singularity encode the music of the universe. Everything we see and experience is part of this grand projection, cast from the singularity's holographic plate onto the canvas of space-time. Through QIH, we glimpse the fundamental truth. The universe, from black holes to particles, is part of one unified story, all connected through the singularity. And there you have it the singularity projecting our universe. Until next time, stay curious.